Sit tight. We'll try to bluff our way through. Cargo inspection. Sure, help yourselves. What do you got in here? Radios. Open one of them up. All right. I'll have to get a bar out of the cab. What's the meaning of this? Surely you're not the police. No, we ain't cops. We just want to keep track of you, in case. Why is this necessary in free America? We left our home countries to get away from the spies of our dictatorial rulers. You have a ruler here, too. And you'd better obey him. I am your phantom ruler. I brought you men to this country to serve me at my every command. Do not be alarmed. There's nothing supernatural about me. My clothing is coated with a chemical which makes it invisible in the ultra-high frequency rays of this light. Out of the beam of this light, I'm a normal human being, but still your ruler. And through your efforts, however unwilling, you will provide me with the money to build, organize, and equip an invisible army. An army which will take over the city first, and then... But I... I've told you enough. You are Frank Martin. No, Your Excellency. I am Otto Wagner from... You were Otto Wagner. Now you are Frank Martin, master locksmith and American citizen. And you are Harry Long, a highly rated research chemist. And your name from now on is James Hunter, an outstanding law student. And you are Henry Miller, an electrical engineer with a specially thorough training in aircraft design. Now, I've chosen you men because you all speak excellent English. You can all pass as American citizens. I have secured good positions for each one of you in your respective fields. And you must work for your employer, faithfully and honestly, until further orders from me. We came here to be good American citizens. We did not expect to commit any illegal... You're guilty already of illegal entry into this country. Subject to arrest and deportation any time I choose to turn you in. Take them to their quarters. Get going. Out the door. What's the first job for this bunch? We'll use Martin, the locksmith. I've secured a good position for him with the Standard Safe Company, which is about to install a new vault door in the Tri-City Bank. Martin should have no difficulty learning the combination of that lock. What are you guys doing here? Why, uh, we're waiting for the bank to open. Oh, yeah? You didn't know it was a holiday, huh? What have you got in this truck? The 
door's opening. so we had to take care of him. But he didn't find out anything. I was hoping this robbery would go undetected for some time. Now the police will be on the case at once. They're sure to investigate Martin, so we must arrange to take him to a safe place. Hello, Mr. Madison. Got here as soon as I could. How are you, Lane? <clears throat> I'm sorry to pull you off that uh, arson case, but this is more important. Oh, Miss Richards, uh, this is Lane Carson. How do you do, Mr. Carson? How are you? We have just assigned Miss Richards to be your assistant. Why, that's that's fine. Yes, I thought she'd be very helpful to you in working on criminal cases. Well, isn't that a rather unusual job for a woman? Perhaps, but uh, Miss Richards is rather an unusual woman. She's made a scientific study of crime detection, and for the past three years has been with the City Department of Criminal Investigation. If you really object to me so much, Mr. Carson, I won't force myself on you. No, it isn't that. But in some of these cases, the going does get rather rough for a woman. Well, I'm sure I can take care of myself. Yes, and I'm sure too, Lane. <laughs> but let's get down to business. I'm putting you on the Tri-City Bank robbery. We carry the insurance, and the loss is serious. Mm -hmm. Yes, I heard about that. Looked like an inside job. Someone who knew the combination of the vault just walked in and took what they wanted. Well, I'll check on the bank employees Only and... Only two of the bank officers knew that combination, Mr. Carson. And they're both above suspicion. But someone else must the have... The Standard Safe Company recently installed a new vault door. And one of their locksmiths was hired just before the job. Well, that might be a lead. I'll, uh... I'll check this locksmith. He quit his job yesterday, and I found that his references had been forged. That's very interesting. I'll get his name and... His uh... name is Frank Martin. And he lives at 1736 Clayton Avenue. Here's a sketch I made from the descriptions I gathered. You really have been busy. And you've certainly saved me a lot of work. Thanks. I'll check on Martin right away. Oh, uh, perhaps uh, Miss Richards can help you identify him. Why, yes, if she'd care to go along with me. Thank you, Mr. Carson. I would. I'll check with you later if anything happens. OK. Must be about where that car is parked. I'll stop here. Maybe we got here just in time. Looks like him, all right. Oh, I'm sure it is. Aren't you going to stop him? No, I'm going to trail along and see where he goes. enough to take the car and you. Well, let me go with you. No, I'm not taking any chances on your getting hurt. Now, please stay put, whatever happens. How long will I have to stay here? Until the cops get tired of looking for everybody that had anything to do with that bank vault. Your room's in there. I'll do the talking. Frisk him.
Calling Phantom Ruler. Calling the Phantom Ruler. Come in, Burton. Someone who looked like a private dick jumped us at the house. I managed to get away, but I'm afraid he's got Martin. Stay in that vicinity. If Martin is captured, learn where they take him. Yes, sir. Get the truck and the portable light ray ready at once. Calling PR. Calling PR. Come in. They just took Martin into the Apex Insurance Company building. Wait for us in the alley back of the building. Right. Start the generator. This light won't do you any good inside the building. Of course not. But I'll go up the fire escape and look through the window. You move that light beam slowly and steadily so I can stay in it. gave out the combination to the Tri-City Vault. I think he's about ready to talk. Martin, Mr. Madison is president of this company. If you tell him who robbed that vault, it'll be a lot easier on you. And if you don't tell us, you'll take the whole rap along. I didn't want to. He forced me to. I couldn't refuse. Who made you do it? He would have had me deported. Or even murdered. Who is he? I don't know his name. But he lives in... Nothing to that truck down there. It couldn't have come from there. I saw the smoke. That shot was fired from the fire escape right outside this window. Then let's search the offices above and below. Carson is the insurance company's investigator on this case. He's a dangerous adversary. We must do something about him. Watch him closely. He'll undoubtedly go back to that house to search for clues as to Martin's connections. You get out there and make sure he doesn't find anything of value. Any luck? No, we checked all the adjoining offices, but no one had seen a thing. I looked over the windowsill and the fire escape for fingerprints, but there weren't any. So you can't draw me a picture of the suspect this time, huh? Maybe I already have. How's that? Maybe you're right. I could almost believe that killer was some kind of a phantom. That doesn't make him any easier to catch. What's our next move? Well, I thought I'd take a look at that house where I found Martin. I might find some clue to the man who took him there. Well, let's go. We'll park here. Lane, that car. It's the one the man escaped in this morning. You're sure? Positive. Then they're probably waiting for me inside. I'll sneak around through the back door. You stay here. Oh, but you promised me I could help this time. You can. If he tries to get away in that car again, do something about it.
Get out those grenades. again. Is that a piece of a grenade? Yes. And a very powerful one, too. We'll get this analyzed and see what kind of explosive they used. That last grenade blew up right in front of them, but it didn't kill them. I thought you told me that explosive charge was so powerful. It is, but there was only one pound in the warehouse, not enough for a full charge for all the grenades. Well, what about the acid? Well, I've already secured enough to set up a demonstration unit in my home. But if it's to be used much, I'll need some more. Right. Get it. Oh, but the guard is always I there. I told you that guard is in my employ. There's nothing to prevent you from taking all that you need. But I've got to have a concentration of acid that'll cut through any vault door. I don't wish to be involved as a criminal. You're already a criminal. An illegal alien in this country under false papers. How would you like to be deported back to your own country? Then remember, I'm still your ruler. I'll not stand for any half-hearted obedience. Now get back to your job. Yes, sir. Here's the analysis of that grenade fragment. It shows traces of nitrogelatin. Hmm. That's not a very common explosive. No. And the Alton Company is the only chemical supply house in the city that carries it. Hey, that sounds like a lead. I'll check on them right away. And I won't need you this time. There won't be any shooting. I hope you're right. <laughs> Along. Mr. Long? Yes? I'm an investigator for the Apex Insurance Company. 
Have you shipped out any nitro gelatin lately? I know. Could any have been stolen? Well, uh, well not that I know of. Uh, of course, uh, I couldn't be sure without taking inventory. I think I'll ask the manager to make one. Oh, no, I mean, uh, well, do you think that's necessary? Where did you work before you came here, Mr. Long? Why, uh, uh, uh back east. What was the name of the place? I, I don't remember the name of the firm. I think your past record needs some investigation, Mr. Long. No, no, I couldn't stand anything like that. Explain this. Come on. So I can't possibly go back there again. So, what good will you be to me now? Is that the acid solution you've already prepared? Yes, sir. All right, let me see how it works. And remember, it must dissolve through any type steel used in the vault at the southeastern bank. There's a huge payroll will be there next week, and I need that money to build my invisible army. An army which will obey my every command. This bar is chrome manganese steel, same as used in the bank vault. Watch. Very effective. Tell me, if that solution were sprayed onto a vault door, would it cut through? Yes, I believe so. Then get a vault door, the same make as used in the bank. Set it up here and make an actual test. Yes, sir. Now, if I'm going to experiment further, I'll need more of the basic acid. Very well. I'll see that you get it. So I'm sure both the chemist and that night watchman were in on stealing the explosive. And the inventory showed a case of highly concentrated acid was also missing. That company must be pretty careless about their employees. Well, they won't be from now on. They've posted reliable guards at every door, but I've taken some precautions, too. I've planted radioactive material in each one of the remaining cases of acid. If any one of them are moved, the needles will show a separation, and we can follow the moving particles by the impulses on the direction finder. Let me see that finder. Then let's hope they steal some more. That's the idea. Let's take the car and cruise around down near the warehouse. We might be right on hand when something happens. You move the light beam to the rear door. Turn it off when I get in the doorway. Turn it on again when I open the door to come out. All right.
tell Harris to let us off at headquarters and deliver that acid to Long. It's reacting. The warehouse is southeast of here and that needle points west. Some of that acid has been moved a long way already. I'll turn west at the next street. You keep calling directions. Still swinging to the right, and the impulse is almost at its peak. Must be that house just up ahead. Address. Thanks, Carol. I'll take over. Step over here.
not doing so good. No. And I'm urgently in need of money. Money to organize my invisible army. I'm hoping that Hunter will be helpful. Well, Mr. Hunter, you should be firmly established in that law office by now. Well, I hope so, sir. I've been put in charge of checking and filing all the confidential documents. Very interesting. Tell me, have you come across any information that might be useful to me? My work's highly confidential. If I were to talk about it, I'd get into trouble. You'll talk to me, or I'll talk to the police. How would you like to be deported back to your own country? And a very unpleasant death. Now, sit down. Tell me exactly what goes on in your office. Well, there, there is a merger pending. Listen to this letter I just received. Warren Madison. If you wish to keep secret your pending merger with the Amalgamated Fidelity Company, you must place an envelope containing $50,000 in the trash can at the corner of 12th Street and Lake Avenue between 2.30 and 3, Tuesday afternoon. Just how important is this merger? Extremely important. And it involves acquiring control of several smaller companies. If news of this gets out before the negotiations are completed, we'll have to pay a prohibitive price for the controlling stock. Hmm. Well, the obvious thing to do is to plant an empty envelope and hide out to see who picks it up. Well, they'll surely be on guard against that. Probably. But we may be able to get some line on them. Anyway, it's our only chance. Very well. I'll leave it in your hands. But remember, one slip up could cost us 10 times that 50,000. We'll be careful. We'll see what happens. What's that truck doing there? Nothing yet. Looks like he's doing an electrical welding job on that lamppost. fast welding job. Well, no one went near the trash can. No, but I still want to see what that welder was doing. So, they're trying to trap us. Tell Harris to take the road across the mountains. Nothing's been done to this post. It's gone. What? But how? That truck must have had something to do with it. Let's go.
Jones. Switchback. Maybe I can catch him. work out very nicely for us. Tell Harris to drive to the storage garage. This time you'll collect the money for us. Just tell your company to make any arrangement you wish. But remember, one of my boys will be on the floor in the rear seat with a gun at your head. You'll gain nothing that way. Now, do as I tell you and don't try any more tricks. Okay, you win. He'll drive the bulletproof sedan. He removes the glass from the wind of the driver's side. So if any of his friends start shooting, he'll be the only one exposed. Right. Satisfactory. I'll have that delivered to the company president this evening. Get him started by 7.30. Have you heard from Lane? Yes. He's apparently been captured by the blackmailers, and they want him to collect the money for them. Well, it's in Lane's handwriting. And with his own pen, which may help. I don't understand. He has a trick pen with invisible ink on one end. This chemical brings out the writing. Fifth floor, storage garage, Harborside Warehouse. That must be where they're holding them. I'll call the police. Uh, why don't you call the night watchman at the storage building? It'll be quicker. That's right. It's time to get going. Get him in the car. I'll open the doors for you. You'll have to choke it. What's going on here? Where's Mr. Carson?
You'll have to choke it. What's going on here? Where's Mr. Carson? takes care of him. Yeah. Let's get this truck out of here before any more cops show up. Hop in, I'll open the doors. So you didn't even take the trouble to see if Carson had drowned? Well, how could we? We were lucky to get away alive. But not lucky enough to get the money while we had a chance. Listen to this. Insurance companies negotiate nationwide merger. The Apex Insurance Company and the Amalgamated Fidelity Corporation announced yesterday the completion of negotiations for a merger. Well, that kills our chance of collecting anything from Apex. Yes. Our inside information it is of no value now that the deal has been completed. We could always work some other job. With that invisible outfit? Yes, but unfortunately, we can't depend upon his ability to become invisible without the necessary chemicals we need for his robes. There's just enough left for one or two more occasions. And I know of no manufacturer in this country that can supply that particular compound. And it is illegal to import it. It's still possible to bring illegal merchandise into this country. And at the proper time, enough will be brought in to supply an invisible suit for every man in our private army. The army the Phantom will use to take over this country. Those are our plans for the future. But as to our present needs, three drums of that chemical have been shipped to me on the steamer Moravania. The ship does not dock here, but it will drop anchor in the harbor tomorrow for refueling. I've already rented a speedboat to use to pick up the stuff. Good, but be careful. The harbor patrol will be suspicious of any boat approaching a foreign ship. Right, sir. We searched the garage thoroughly, and this map was the only possible lead to the gang's plans. I don't see anything significant about finding a map of a waterfront in a garage. Well, there isn't. But see where someone penciled in fueling anchorage at this point down in the harbor. Yes. Looks as though they may have been interested in a ship that was anchored out there. Well, there is a foreign ship in harbor today. We're going out and look it over. Then let's get started. Let us go aboard the ship. No, I doubt it. But we may be able to talk to the captain. That cruise is headed for the anchorage. It may be a patrol boat. Let's get a closer look. Speedboat's cutting in between us and the steamer. Those are the same two men who were in the garage. We're certainly on the right trail. Say, that cruise is trailing us now. Must be the harbor patrol. Carson's probably given our description to all the cops in town. Well, they won't catch this boat. Open her up. They've speeded up. Yes, and they're faster than we are. are swinging together. We can make it, but that cruiser won't. I hope 
so. We ain't gonna make it. Come on. That'll take care of them. Now head for the steamer and we'll pick up that stuff. Sounds like them, all right. That's fine. Thanks a lot. We finally got a lead. That boat was rented from the K Street dock. Have they brought it back yet? Yes, an hour or so ago. They took three drums off the boat and loaded them onto a pickup truck. The dock man was curious enough to take a good look at the truck, and he gave me that description of it. I better phone the police right away. Yeah, and ask them to send out a dragnet and call us if they find anything. officer just came into headquarters and reported that he saw what looked like a pickup truck turning off Highway 15 onto a dirt road just this side of the river. Well, didn't he follow it? No, he hadn't heard the broadcast, but maybe we can catch up with it. Come on. so long. How to collect these gas trunks and get them filled. You wanted to make this a legitimate fuel delivery outfit, didn't you? Yes, we need it for a front. So if we get stopped, why, they won't be wise to those drums of chemical. Now get that truck hidden out quick. It may be hot. Right. Move those gas drums.
Ladder, I want him. Stop at the top of the hill. at the top of the hill. We'll go there and phone Sam to pick up that chemical. Let's try to flag a car. We've got to pick up those drums before someone else finds them. Get my purse. No, the Olden Company chemist says it's a very unusual compound, and he doesn't have the facilities to analyze it. We've sent a sample to the federal laboratory, but it'll be some time before we get a report on it. So we're stopped again. Well, so's that gang who wants the chemical. Unless they steal it like they did the acid. Well, they'll have a tough time doing that. The place is under guard day and night, and I'm checking on the watchman myself. 
Are you sure there's no one in the country can supply us with the chemical to make this invisibility compound? Positive. It's a very complicated formula, only found in a few European plants. We can use the robes a few more times, and then we're through. I found out where Carson took those drums of chemicals. The janitor at the Alton Chemical Company told me he transferred the stuff into 50-gallon drums and stored them there. Did you learn where they put them in the warehouse? Yes, sir, about 40 feet from the corner against the alley wall. But there's a watchman inside all the time. We can still get at them. Here's a list of stuff we'll need. covered with a chemical to make it invisible. There's nothing I can do about the hose, because the light won't cover both at the same time. I realize that, but we have to take a chance. Start the pump. It's working. Relax, Joe. Oh, it's you, Mr. Carson. Yeah, I used my keys to come in the front door. Everything all right? Everything's fine here. He's emptied one drum. Yet? No, no, not yet. You go ahead and eat. I'll take over to get back. Oh, thank you, Mr. Carson. There's the danger signal. Bring it back quickly. Persistent. We must do something about him. I've already told Bill Haynes to tail him wherever he goes. Yes, I know. But uh, I think the time has come when we must eliminate him entirely. Stop at the next gas station. Phone Mr. Carson that this truck was seen going through Kelso, headed for the mountains. But that's where we're going. Exactly. And on that route, we crossed the Seiko Voice Bridge. There you will drop off with enough explosives to blow up this bridge when Carson tries to follow us. 
Well, I get it. Hey, driver, hold off to the side. Company investigator, I'm searching this truck. Well, go ahead. You're coming with me. Open it up. Okay, you win. I can't pin anything on you. Your friends are going to have a tough time getting away with that other truck. the police the license number and a complete description of the truck. They sent out a broadcast asking everyone to be on the lookout for it. Lane Carson. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's fine. Thanks a lot. The service station operator says the truck stopped about an hour ago at his place on Highway 9, just beyond Kelso. But they'll be miles away before you could get there. Perhaps, but that highway runs into the mountains just a few miles past Kelso, and there aren't many other roads they could take. Uh, not this time. You have to stay on the phone. If the police get any more information, ask them to radio them in the station wagon. All right.
vehicle used was described as a canvas-covered truck. License number 6Y43722. Last reported east of Kelso on Highway 9, headed toward Kingman Mountains. We'll never be safe with that truck around. Take it down the road and leave it, but not too close to Dirk's ranch. And you walk on over to his place. Burton will be there, and Dirk can bring you both back here. Right. Wait a minute. Does Dirk still have some of our explosives in his barn? Yeah, plenty of them. All right. Tell him to bring some along with him. And on his way back, he can blow up the road. Well, it's the only road into this mine. How will we get out? We won't for a while. But when it's safe to move, there's a tunnel leading from here to a road on the other side of the mountain. I get it. Long, are you sure you've got everything you need to make a new supply of that invisibility compound? Yes, sir. All right, get busy. I want to see how it works. Very well. Could you leave it there till I get a chance to look it over? Fine, I'll be right out. The police finally located the truck abandoned on a side road near the Kingman Mountains. Did they find anything in it? No, but I want to look it over myself. Better get your fingerprinting outfit together and we'll be on our way. Right. Do we have a map of that district? Yes, in that drawer. to convict the driver, if we catch him. You don't sound very confident. I found this stuck in the tire tread. Well, it's just a piece of gravel, isn't it? Perhaps. It looks more like a fragment of mineral-bearing ore. So what does that mean? Well, it might mean this truck has been around the mine. Let's see if there are any mines around here. There's one, the Kingpin Mine. About how far away is that? About 10 miles. Well, it's a chance anyway. Come on. That's okay. There's a car. Well, whoever it is, there's no business coming up here, so we might as well get him along with the road. I'll tell you when. Must be right. 
Somebody was awfully anxious to stop us from getting there. Yes, it looks like it. Let's climb up and see who set off that blast. around the side. Yeah, I think we can climb around the top and go onto the mine. It isn't much farther. Well, let's go. I think that's dry enough. Would you care to try it? Of course. Burton, start the generator. working? Well, it seems to be. I'd like to leave the light on a minute, though, to make sure it holds up. Take it easy. Step out of there.
right here. Let's go. Oh, we're on the other side of the mountain. Yeah. We'd better get on that canyon to the highway. When we find a phone, we'll call the police and go back to the mine. Well, we missed. There's a hole in the roof of the tunnel. They must have gotten out through it. We better get out of here quick. Yes, but our supplies and equipment, what are we going to do? We'll carry out the rear tunnel. I'll radio for a truck to meet us. Get started. Looks like we're too late. They've taken some of their equipment. There was a radio transmitter there and a portable generator with a light machine on it over here. All right, finish loading, boys. Cover up that false bottom. How could they move that kind of stuff for the roadblock? Well, they must have taken it out some other way. Maybe down that tunnel where we got out. Maybe down that one. You take a look at that one and we'll try this one. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. You see anyone else come out of the mine? No. You piled up quite a load. Well, uh, sure, I, I get paid by the ton. Must be very light. Those springs are hardly down at all. Oh, you see, those are those are extra heavy springs. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get the police on their trail. Oh, that's all of it, Harris. You can take the truck back to the garage. That truck's liable to be pretty hot by now. Then you better hire someone who doesn't know us to drive it for you. Okay. Hunter, have you been able to learn if the bank merger is still proceeding on schedule? Yes, sir. The transferred cash is coming in on tonight's Coast Express. Well, that doesn't give us much time. But it'll be enough. I don't see how you're going to do it. The money will be taken off the train under a strong guard and then sent directly in armored cars to the bank vault. So, we'll take the money from the train before it gets in. Yes, but how do we stop the train? We'll use a motorized hand car that's in the garage, haul it out to Kane Junction, load it with explosives, and send it headlong into the Express. Thanks a lot. I'll be right over. The police picked up the truck. The man driving it claims he was just hired to take it from downtown to a garage at 126 Eastern Avenue. Claims he doesn't even know who owns it. So what do we do now? Well, I'm going down to headquarters and talk to the prisoner. If I can't get anything out of him, I... I might try delivering that truck to the garage myself. Lane, please try to be careful this time. Sure. I'll phone you if anything happens. The guy with the dump truck. Sure took his time getting here. I thought I'd find you here.
Sire's hands. This time we'll get rid of him permanently. Yeah. All we have to do is knock him on the head and dump him off on the road on our way out. I've got something better than that. Oh? We'll take him with us to Kane Junction. Let him ride that car full of explosives. That's not a bad idea. from Lane? No, and I'm going over to the garage now to try and find out what happened to uh, him. Why don't you call the police? Well, I hate to call them until I'm sure we need them. It may upset Lane's plans. Well, perhaps you're right, but uh, be careful. Are you looking for someone, miss? I'm an insurance company investigator. Do you know anything about the people who occupy this building? Why, no. I'm the night watchman on this street, and I never see anybody in this building. Would you suppose it would be all right if I go in and look around for a few minutes? It's a very important case. Oh, I guess it'll be all right. Sure, but I think so. Thanks a lot. Okay. I'm afraid that Lane Carson's in trouble out of Kane Junction. Will you help me? Sure, Miss Richards. We're always glad to help Mr. Carson. You've got a date to meet a train. Head on. there with that train coming through. Send that car down the track. I'll keep you covered. That white car's running wild and crashed the Coast Express head on. I'll take the girl's car and stop it. We've got to stop that hand car at the crossing. The train's coming. I'll do it. You can't drive now. All right. 
Stop that hand car at the crossing. The train's coming. I'll do it. You can't drive now. All right. <laughs> Figure out Never how... mind the alibi. The point is, you failed again. And now we're badly in need of funds. Not only for the present, but for the future. When I plan to put in effect the organization of my invisible army, one that will make it possible for me to dominate this community and eventually the entire country. Miller, you've been in the employ of the Calhoun aircraft for a long time now. What have you got there that would be useful to me? Well, I work in the drafting department, sir. All I ever see are plans for future production. Plans? Surely some of those plans must be valuable enough to bring a good price from some rival company? Well, we've just completed the design for a new turbo supercharger, but it's impossible for me to obtain it. Why? It's kept in a locked filing cabinet, and there are always people in the room. During the noon hour, too? Why, uh, no. But then the door's locked and there's a guard outside. How about the windows? They open right onto the street. No one could get through them without being seen. No one? Not even the invisible phantom ruler. My 
while, we've got a new job. Oh, really? Yeah, some very valuable plans were stolen from the Calhoun Aircraft Offices yesterday noon. But we don't handle their insurance. I know, but they asked me to help on the case because the thieves were obviously the same gang who's been giving us all this trouble. Are you sure? Practically. The man who stole the plans had to come in through a window. And on the window sill, they found a smear of the same chemical that came off that foreign ship. That ties in all right. But so far, nobody's been able to tell us what that chemical is used for. So what good does it do? We have a chance of nailing those crooks if they try to sell the plans to any other plane company. I've notified all the companies in this area to report to me at once if anyone does offer them the plans. Then that must be what this is all about. Mr. Moore of the Calhoun Company called and wants to see you. Well, we may be getting somewhere. I'm on my way. Be careful. Sure. Of course, Mr. Carson, we're not interested in buying stolen property. But when this man phoned, I stalled him until I could reach you. His name's Harding. He asked me to send someone to this address to arrange the deal. It sounds too easy. This man is probably just a go-between. But if I can arrange to make the payoff here in your office, we might catch one of the higher-ups. Whatever you say. OK. I'll tell Harding you'll have the money here at 4 o'clock. When they show up to collect, you pretend you're going through with the deal, and I'll move in as soon as they show you the plans. Very well. Now all I have to do is make sure Harding really does have the plans. Good luck. Mr. Harding? Yes? I'm from the Calhoun Company. I've been expecting you. Come on in. Got the plans? Do you have the $50,000? No, but it'll be ready for you this afternoon in Mr. Moore's office at 4 o'clock, if you can actually prove to me you have the plans. Do you expect me to let you get your hands on them before you're ready to complete the deal? Do you expect me to take your word for it? Won't be necessary, Mr. Carson. Get his gun. Are you still going to try and go through with that deal? Of course, with a few precautions. You'll walk into a trap? Yeah, possibly, but we'll be prepared. Go out to my car, radio Burton, tell him to bring the truck with the lamp and my robes to the rear of the Calhoun building right away. Then you may leave. Suits me.
Kern is waiting for you in the corridor. Take him with you. I'll be outside under the window. If you have any trouble, drop the plans out to me. Start the generator. Mr. Moore? Yes. I've got a set of plans for you. I was expecting you. May I see them? You have the money? I must insist on seeing the plans. The money's right here. I'd like to see it. All right. When you open that envelope, I'll open this one. Just in time. He has the plans. Good. Give me those plans.
anyway, we still have the plans of Calhoun's turbo supercharger. Yeah, but not the money. It's obvious now that Moore had no intention of buying these plans. And neither will any other company now after all this publicity. Why can't we sell them back to Calhoun? They undoubtedly have duplicate copies. Their only interest in these plans now is to keep them from falling into the hands of some competitor. See, that gives us an angle to work on after all. Suppose I threaten to give these plans to some other company. Calhoun should pay handsomely to get them back. That's a good idea. And all we have to do is pick a secluded spot for the payoff where you can wear your invisibility outfit. Oh, I'm afraid not this time. Carson saw the truck in the light. He's sure to tell the authorities to be on the lookout for them. But... Here's an arrangement which should be perfectly safe. But would this other company use Calhoun's plans? Oh, no, probably not the exact plans, but they certainly would study them and be able to work out something similar enough to compete with Calhoun's supercharger. Then it really would be worth $50,000 to Calhoun to get those plans back. That's what they say. How's the money to be delivered? Well, that part of it sounds silly, but it isn't. There'll be a dog tied to a tree at a certain point in the mountains near the Kingpin Mine. But to fasten the money to the dog's harness and turn him loose. Why, that's ridiculous. Oh, no, it isn't. It's very smart. That dog will head for home through that mountain country where nobody can follow him. Yes, I guess you're right. What can we do about it? Well, if they can use a dog, we can too. Let's go find one. chance sending real money? I know, but we have to. This dog will get where he's going a long time before we do. If they find fake money on him, they might give the plans to Calhoun's competitor before we can catch up with him. Go home, boy. Go on. Follow. Follow, boy. stuff. Come on, let's get going. We're not in the clear yet. Carson and a girl have been tailing us with another dog. Well, I guess we can take care of them all right, huh? Yes, but let them get inside. It'll be easier for us. That ore bin above the vertical shaft is loaded. On a wire from the trip lever down across the floor of the tunnel. I get it. this place again. We'll find out.
How's it look? Looks all right. Let's go. Looks like they went on through. We're expecting us. Come on. Well, what are we waiting for? We heard that ore dub let go. It must have got him. Yeah, I guess so. Duke right to stoners. Well, I can fix that. Forget it. Come on. Looks like your pals have deserted you. Well, you can be on our side now. He'll head for home and he can lead me there. You better take our dog back to the car and radio the police and tell them to look for me somewhere in these hills. All right. Well, we're all through. Your horses are outside, but we had a little trouble. Where's the dog? Well, that's the trouble. Carson was after us, and the dog ran back to him. Yeah, and the dog will lead him right here. Maybe. So what? We'll be gone, and Carson's got nothing on you. Well, how can I explain about having all these explosives? You better haul them out of here right away. We can't put that stuff in our car. I'll go to the phone and call a truck. All right.
Thanks. Thought you told me Carson was blown up in the barn. Well, I thought sure he was. We had to get out of there quick. Yeah, and so did Mr. Carson. It was the fifty thousand dollars that I should have had. He's managed to spoil every operation we've attempted. Do you realize we haven't collected a cent since that bank ball job? We can always make another haul as long as your invisibility light is... That's just the point. We don't dare use that light again. Why not? Carson can't know the light makes you invisible. Perhaps not. But he might guess the truth. After all, he's seen it several times. First, when we uh, use it to silence Martin. Martin, Mr. Madison is president of this company. If you tell him who robbed that vault, it'll be a lot easier on you. And if you don't tell us, you'll take the whole rap along. I didn't want to. He forced me to. I couldn't refuse. Who made you do it? He would have had me deported. Or even murdered. Who is he? I don't know his name. But he lives in... <laughs> Carson saw the light then, and on several other occasions. Yeah, I guess you're right. And what about your plan to raise an invisible army? If Carson knows about the light, you won't get away with making yourself invisible, much less an army. And what about your plans to rule? I'll still make it work. Our friend will be looking for the light. Perhaps we can turn that fact to our advantage. If he is looking for the light, we'll arrange to let him find it. There's fatal consequences. I finally received the government report on that chemical we got from the gang. The chemists say they've never heard of it in this particular formula before, but a somewhat similar compound has been in use for several years. Uh, what for? Did you ever see one of those nightclub acts where a girl's fingernails appear natural in normal light, but turn black when a special lamp is focused on them? Well, yes, but I still don't understand. Well, it's done by coating the fingernails with a compound that changes color under a certain type of light beam. A light beam? Well, we've seen them with that funny-looking lamp several times. But you've never seen anything change color, have you? No, we've never seen anything at all in that light beam. That's just the point. You mean that a combination of that chemical and a light beam can make something invisible? Or someone. Why, well, sounds preposterous. Yes, I know it does. But it might be possible. And it's the only way I have of explaining some of these things that have been happening. When we planted that dummy payoff for the extortion demand, Carol and I hid out to see who picked it up. What's that truck doing there? Looks like he's doing an electrical welding job on that lamp post. fast welding job. No one went near the trash can. No, but I still want to see what that welder was doing. Nothing's been done to this post. Gone. But, but how? Those men in the truck were the only ones who could possibly have taken that envelope. Yet we didn't see anyone go near the trash can. Perhaps that invisibility theory of yours is true, but uh, how can you be sure? Well, I've asked the police to report to me at once if they ever see a spotlight of that type. 
If I could get hold of one, I could try it out myself. You have some of the chemical, haven't you? Yes, we found out they were smuggling some in from a steamer. We located the truck they used to haul it away from the dock. back part of the chemical, again using the spotlight. So we... Wayne Carson. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right over. The police report a suspicious looking light shining out of the window of an abandoned warehouse on Fuller Street. This may be the chance I've been looking for. Be careful. Good luck. Carson just drove up. He stopped to talk to the cops, but he'll be in here any minute. Turn on that high voltage. Come on, Mac. I guess that's finished him. Of course it did. There's enough high voltage in that circuit to kill ten men. Let's get him out of sight before Carson comes in. Turn that switch on again.
Come out of there. out of there. carefully laid plans, Mr. Carson escapes again and secures our light ray unit as well. Yeah, but it won't do him any good. We stripped all the working parts off of it. All he got was a frame and an old automobile headlight. Even those items might help him get closer to us. You know, we've consistently underestimated Mr. Carson's ability. So if we expect to pull another successful job, we better do it fast before he catches up with us. Long. How are you progressing with that new light? Well, this is it. It's smaller and much more effective. Yes, a man could even put that under his coat. Of course, we'll still need the generator and the wire going to the lamp. And all you need is a new type vehicle to carry the generator. That's right. Get Dirk on the phone and tell him we want to use his garage. Oh, uh, Lane, uh, did you get anything on that light unit? Not much. It had obviously been stripped of all its essential parts. But the construction of the frame may help us. Oh. Well, the automobile parts used indicate it was a homemade job turned out by some garage with welding equipment. Well, there must be hundreds of those places in the city. Yes, but in this case, there was a special type of welding rod used. And by checking with the company that sells it, we were able to narrow the field down considerably. Carol and I checked all the garages on their list, and there's only one that looks suspicious. Have you investigated? I'm going over there now. Well, good luck. Thanks. Yes, and you can get that truck out of here right now. I don't like having these hot jobs around. I don't see why you're squawking. You're being well paid.
What do you want? Insurance company investigator. I want to ask a few questions and look around. You work for the phone company? Sometimes. Why not? I always thought they had their own garage. Well, they do, but sometimes they put stuff out on subcontracts and I... Use that on him. Won't make any noise. Oh, no, you don't. I'm in deep enough with this gang already. There ain't gonna be no murders done in my garage. What do you want us to do with him? Well, load him in that truck and get him out of here right now. If we haven't time, we need that truck right away. We'll tie him up and come back for him later. Well, all right, but make it snappy. Get some rope. Paris, get me that time bomb. That'll blow up the place and get Kirk, too. So what? We can get along without him. Kirk, we're ready to pull out. Okay, but don't forget to come back for that guy. Don't worry. He'll be taken care of. kicked in? Well, I'm going to give you a chance to tell me what's bothered you, but don't try any tricks. A time bomb behind those drums. Get it quick. Douse it in water. How'd you know that was there? I saw your pals plant it. What? Why, those dirty double-crossers. Well, I don't care if you are a cop. I'm gonna help you catch him. It'll be a big help if you can tell me where they hide out and who their boss is. Well, I don't know that much. I just did car jobs for them, like installing generators and some electrical equipment in that fake telephone truck. What are they going to use that truck for? Well, they didn't say. Maybe I can guess. Have you got a telephone? Yeah, right back here. Mr. Carson's office. Yes, Lane. Ask police headquarters to broadcast all patrol cars and have them radio me whenever they spot a telephone company truck. Yeah, I'll be cruising around. Thanks a lot.
Lane Carson speaking. Come in. We just received a report that there's a phone company truck parked in the 1100 block on 7th, just across the street from the bank. Looks like they're only doing a regular line repair job. Maybe so, but I still want to get a look at the men in that truck. Thanks a lot.
finally located the armored truck abandoned near the waterfront. The door had been cut open and the money was gone. Over $200,000. Incredible. Are we never going to rid ourselves of this gang? Well, at least we managed to capture one of them alive. When he recovers enough to talk, we may find out something. The morning paper said he had died. I know. I arranged with the police to put out that report. Is he in a safe place? Oh, yes. With the criminal connections that gang has, we didn't dare put him in a prison hospital, so I hid him in a house in the suburbs. There's a doctor with him all the time, and they'll notify me as soon as he regains consciousness. Roughly $223,000. A very satisfactory haul. Enough to ensure my invisible army and guarantee me as their ruler untold power and wealth. Well, it sounds all right, but Carson knows enough about that light to cause us trouble. Don't you think we ought to take it easy for a while? Yes, I'd plan to cease operations in the city for the time being. We'll rebuild our organization somewhere else. You're pulling out right away? No, there's a few matters to attend to. And I don't want to leave any clues behind. Yes? Oh, thank you. That was Slater. I sent him to the morgue to check on Long's body. It wasn't there. What does that mean? It means that police report was a phony. Long is still alive, and Carson expects him to talk. Well, if he's in the prison hospital... No, he's not there. My informer would have told me. Undoubtedly, Carson has him hidden somewhere. You men follow Carson. Watch his every move until you find Long. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. I'll be right out. The doctor thinks our man may be able to talk. Good luck, Lane. There he is now. Doctor, his pulse and respiration are almost normal. I strongly suspect he's trying to fool us. In fact, I'm almost sure he could talk if he wanted to. I thought perhaps you could persuade him to be sensible. Well, he should realize that he can't keep this up indefinitely. The sooner he decides to talk, the easier... He won't be doing any talking. So you finally got here. Can you get up and come with us long? Can't make it. And there's only one thing to do. Oh no! No! <laughs> long, but that injection may revive him enough to talk. Can you hear me, Long? Long, can you hear me? Basement. Consolidated warehouse. 
Yes. Basement of Consolidated Warehouse. What's there? The Phantom. I'm afraid that's all. Perhaps that's enough. Are you positive Long was killed? I'm certain. I shot him point blank. Well, I hope you're right. But I'd much rather he'd been brought back here to help the others install my new electrical equipment. What others? By the remaining foreigners I brought to this country to work with us. They're all too well known now. They can't be of any further use to me. What is this new electrical equipment? I'll ask them to connect these two cables to the light switch. They'll be instantly electrocuted. And when their bodies are found here after we're gone, their deaths will appear to have been accidental. Miller and Hunter in the back room. Bring them in. I'll pass sentence. meet here again, in the same position as when I first brought you to this country to serve me. Now I'm informing you that your services are no longer required. But why do you bring us here like this? We've worked faithfully for you, to the best of our ability. Your best was not enough, and I have no further. The alarm bell. Someone's coming down the stairs. Drop those guns. I said drop them. I open the door. Get back against the wall. connection is with this gang, but I won't forget your help. Well, it looks like you have quite a collection of criminal equipment here. Yes, and some of it's very interesting, too. That box contained the money they stole from the armored truck.
It's gone. What happened? That's the way they operated. Any object painted with their special chemical becomes invisible in the rays of that light beam. Turn it off, Carol. So your theory was correct. No wonder they could work so mysteriously. Well, their leader, who called himself the Phantom Ruler, wore robes which were coated with the chemical so that he was invisible as long as he remained in the rays of that light beam. So that's why he could shoot a man right before us. Yes, they used that method a number of times. But now the authorities are taking every precaution to see that those materials never fall into criminal hands again. Of course, the special ray generated by that lamp is the key to the whole business. If you ever want to be a nightclub entertainer, Carol, you could put on a very spectacular show with that light. Thanks, but I happen to like my present job.